As you know, one civilization dominates the entire world today. It is called Western materialistic civilizations. The bearer of this civilization are full of pride. They are at the pinnacle of advancement in technology, science, communications, etc. They are exploring Mars, extracting mineral wealth from the depth of the earth and the sea and controlling the North Pole and the South Pole. But this civilization has also caused two world wars. 140 million people were killed there and several times more were injured and maimed. After the war, the United Nations was formed with the goal of the world peace. Many human rights organizations were created and humanitarian laws were enacted. The strength of law enforcement agencies in each country has been increased. However, the war did not stop even for a day. In the last 75 years, at least 50 million people have lost their lives in the wars created by the pioneer states of the civilizations. Opening the page of any country's daily newspaper, one sees horrific descriptions of murders, rapes, disappearance, and riots. All types of crime are increasing day by day. In every society, there is the oppression of the strong over the weak, the exploitation of the rich over the poor, the injustice of the ruler over the ruled, the triumph of injustice over justice, the deprivation of the cunning over the innocent. In simple terms, the world has become uninhabitable for humans today. Every moment, the earth is shocked in the blood of innocent children. In Israel-Palestine conflict, innocent women and children have died in the thousands. The most terrifying and dangerous aspect of this civilization in that the war mongering imperial states have stockpiled in at least 20,000 nuclear bombs. They just want war because their economy is war economy. Every year they sell trillions and trillions of dollars worth of weapons. As a result of these wars, how many millions of people will die? How many towns will be destroyed? How many women will be abused? How many children will die? It's not important to them. The more wars, the greater their economic power, their dominion over the world will be strong. Just a few nuclear bombs are enough to destroy the entire world. The question is, are they not using nuclear bomb in these wars? Not humanity, not even the kind human feeling of how many women and children will be killed. Get at them, the only reason for this fear is that if they go to kill an enemy, they themselves also will die. The United States knows that if it wants to destroy its enemy, Russia, as soon as its intercontinental ballistic missiles reach Russia and crush the Russian men and women into the ground, the Russian missiles will also be halfway across to the United States and the United States will face the same fate. Russia also knows that if it wants to destroy the United States, the same things will happen with Russia. Not humanity, not kindness, not respect for justice, not aversion to injustice, not the feeling of how many millions of people, children and animals will be killed. Just a fear that if I kill the enemy, I will also die. 
Hiroshima and Nagasaki are proof that and not refrain from this terrible massacre for the sake of humanity and justice. Only fear and their own consequence has kept them from using these destructive weapons against humanity. In mechanical, diplomatic, civilized language, it is termed as deterrent. It is no longer a secret today that it is the power of the enemy that prevents the world's powerful nations from starting a catastrophic war. Former United States President Gerald Ford clearly stated that deterrent is nothing else. Our military power is the greatest guarantee of peace. In other words, the United States is safe as long as the nuclear power is strong enough to destroy the attacker. Conversely, the same is true for Russia. Both of them are standing with guns pointing to each other's chest. No one is pulling the trigger just because one pulls the trigger, so will the other. And both will end. I do not agree with you anyone who calls its civilization based on fear alone. It is not a civilization. It is a merely a mechanical progress and such a state cannot continue indefinitely. If the people still do not understand that they need to leave the path of their soulless mechanical progress until this technological advancement for the well-being of humanity improve their soul and break the current social system and build a new one then whether it is today or tomorrow pulling the trigger of the gun inevitable